Today we're going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. Well today we are in the Hagerstown area of Maryland and we are at Crossroads antique center so this is the first time i've ever been here before um in a recent video i was right next door at beaver creek antiques um they're literally side by side so i figured we'd come over here and check this out um i'm giving myself an hour <laughs> an hour it looks pretty large but i'm only giving myself an hour because i do want to get to frederick um and check out the goodwill because it's been a while since we've been there so we're gonna head in and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit here we go to walk by and then i noticed this hiding down here at the bottom it's extremely dusty um, but this bowl with the silver uh, flaking in it and the purple I think I really like that for 18 um, it's cheaper than the others and the design is a lot more appealing at least to me so we will grab this for 18 bucks and I think this vendor also has 15% off the reason I came into this booth was because of this piece back here pottery vase rabbit or cat I feel like that's a cat. <laughs> um, it is $20. There's a signature on the bottom, but it seems to be a little tricky. Um, I think for just 20 bucks, that would make a nice utensil holder by the stove. So we will take this up front with us. We have a very remarkable pair of birds. They actually match um, a bird. It was a, either a duck or a goose that we pulled out of the Gus house, the, um, the hoarder house. Uh, these are $2.75 for the pair. Um, it's the same technique, except these ones have these added um, colors to them. But uh, that yellow with the, with the gold, I think those are fantastic. They've got $2.75 on the pair of those. And uh, I may consider that, um, given that we have the, the duck that goes with them. The bird down here is only $85, and this is fantastic. It's like a... Um, a proud pigeon. Um, I don't know if they call those puffer pigeons. Oh my gosh, I'm about to like <laughs> lose it because I just noticed that dog over there is amazing. Um, so we've got the dog, we have the pigeon, and then over here we've got this Mondrezato faceted vase. Um, so there's some really, really amazing pieces in here. I just spent $800 at the antique mall next door, but I suspect that this is about to get expensive. <laughs> So here's the doggy, and then we're getting the birds as well. He's great. So I did end up buying the dog, the white bird, and the two gold birds. I asked about a discount, um, and the vendor, I guess, does 5% when you pay with credit card and 10% when you pay with cash. Unfortunately, I have no cash. I have no checks. So um, I will be getting 5% off of those guys, but uh, I don't come across pieces like that very often so when I do I feel like they're worth grabbing so um, we're gonna continue down this way and see what else we can find. Here is a frog and I believe it's Talavera pottery they have it marked as Polish pottery but he's just so colorful and floral he's not marked on the bottom but um, he's very reminiscent of Talavera pottery and not necessarily uh, Polish pottery. These pieces here are very nice we have an ashtray um, and then a box is $38. Um, I had one very similar to this once. It was a blue opaline, and um, it was Barbini, I believe. So I'm not sure if this is Murano. I may have to look that up. But there is an ashtray. This little thing here. It doesn't look like it was intended to have a lid. And then this. So, I feel like we should look those up. I love that it's a complete set. We're on Worth Point right now. This right here is the piece that I had. Um, and if you look at it, it looks almost identical to that piece with the little leaf. Um, it was for Telly Toso. It was not Barbini. So I was having trouble finding it. Um, if you scroll up, they have this set as well, which includes that um, opalescent piece and that. Um, this set sold for $125. And that was another three-piece set, and that was back in 2020, so, um, here we've got one that sold for 85, and they have 38 on the entire set. I feel like that's kind of 
a given, right? So we have to grab that and take that up front. So I ventured into this booth because before I was looking inside of this booth from the corner, I um, decided to come in and check things out. Um, I actually have one of these at the shop. Spangled glass basket. Um, and that needs to be listed. But uh, what I was really excited about when I finally decided to venture into this booth was this little guy right here. He is very curious. $15 for a glass duck. Um, he's just, he's a, he's a weird coloring too. He's amber and green and he's got his little green hat. And then we have this little guy in here for 15. I suspect that he is likely a donkey. $15, I mean, he seems to be fairly decent quality. I don't see a lot of bubbles or inclusions in the glass. And uh, I think we'll take both of these as well. Um, over here we have a tumble up. They've got $12 on this tumble up. I'm surprised that it's not damaged because it's extremely thin. Um, but for only $12, it's like a jadeite green tumble up. I doubt it'll glow, but I'll take my black light out and give it a try anyway. All right, here we go, the test. Now it does not glow, but it's still a nice piece. I like the color of it. Um, you'll just have to be very careful when fumbling for it in the dark that you don't accidentally crack it. I have a little Artisanio Rinconada collection and Pixie collection happening over here. Uh, this vendor is 20% each over $10 and then 5% more if you pay with cash. But uh, we've got the llama here which is really great because I found the baby llama multiple times. I've never found the mommy llama so it's nice to finally figure out what she looks like. Uh, we also have a little skunk here. This is only $9 for the skunk, um, and it does say 20 each item over, okay. Um, so this one isn't quite, oh this, he has a little chip there on his foot that may be why he's discounted. Uh, the anteater is 15. And this little guy over here, this llama, is 15. Maybe they're a family of llamas, <laughs> but only $15 each and then that extra discount. Um, I think those are worthwhile for me. I absolutely love the contrast of this. Now, it is reverse painted. Um, I have purchased this in the past. Um, a lot of the times when I find it, the paint on the inside is really worn. So to find it like this is really exciting. I'm not sure if high glass makes this. Um, but you can kind of see the reverse painting. There is a little tiny chip there, um, but it almost looks like a bubble, like it was a manufacturer's defect that spread into a chip. So uh, this, oh, it's, no, it is one set, one set. Two pieces, chipped, both unique, okay. Yeah, that was the only chip I saw, but it looked like it came from a bubble in the glass, so we'll take that for 15. Now I am closing in on that hour timeline, and I gave myself but we've only got one more row left to go, um, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna check out this row, and then we're gonna get out of here. We have to check out this booth right here because they do have some really nice glass in here. This piece right here, twenty-five dollars. Um, this is a faceted piece. Look at the way that's faceted. That's really really neat. And it's um, an orange piece. This is, again, one I've never seen before. I'm trying trying to be more selective in the pieces of Murano that I'm picking up, and I'm trying to pick up pieces that I have not seen before. And this honeycomb design is one that I'm not familiar with. It's also 20% off, um, even when paid with card, which I like. It's only $18. I've seen it before. I've sold it before. I think I could probably get 40 bucks for that. And then we've got this. This is just Mark Murano. They've got $25 on this duck. Now we bought the other ducks, um, but $25 on this guy is also a good price. So I've got this stuff. This little guy here reminds me of a Bertel Valian poodle that I had a while ago. Um, it says large dog glass paperweight, $7. It looks like a lab. Um, and we had the poodle. We had two poodles, actually. We got it at the flea market in Springfield. Um... I'm going to guess that this is Bertil Valian. Um, I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it. Um, but we will 
Take him with us for seven bucks. Hey, look at these little guys. You know what these remind me of is um, that crab that we had not too long ago. Authentic stoneware, CC. Um, they've got $12 on the fish. They're really fun. They do remind me of that crab that we found at the Goodwill. Except they are a little bit more, oh, they are. They are like the crab. Look, they're marked Diane. And the crab was also marked Diane. Um, that's all for $50. Um, the crab, so let's grab the fish, shall we? For 12 bucks. All right, well our total spend there was $676, which is way less than I thought I had spent, <laughs> which, so it was pleasantly surprising when I got up and it was only $676. We got some really quality glass today. I love going to new antique malls and finding lots of goodies and lots of glass. And it was all, well, most of it was reasonably priced. So we got some really great pi prices on that Murano. And uh, I'm out of breath because I just carried out two boxes, but um, we're going to get out of here now. I have to make a stop on the way home uh, to pick up Andrew's uh, Christmas present. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, we will be posting videos just like this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I have included a link to the playlist down in the description.